So you are already using Terra uh, Chain, you have Terra Station Wallet, and now you want to level up your security and use your Ledger device. So when someone maybe hacks your computer, or if you lose the computer, your funds will not get lost. It's much more secure. And if you are here, you already know the benefits of using hardware wallet like Ledger when interacting with wallets, with DeFi, with smart contracts, etc. If you don't know, check out my other tutorial. I will put a link in the description below. Why it's super important and all the reasons why it's important to use hardware wallet when you're dealing with DeFi applications. Now, I assume that you already have a Ledger device. If you don't have, check the description, the link in the description below and consider using my affiliate link in order to support me to grow my channel. And if you want, you can also buy it from the website. And it's actually super, super cheap. You buy it, you set it up. The setup is super simple. You create a new wallet, seed phrase, etc., etc., etc. Same like Terra Station wallet now you have a ledger device and and the first thing that you will need to do is download an app called ledger live this is the app so basically this is the ledger manager this is the app that allows you to install programs inside the operating system of the ledger dev itself because the ledger itself is the operating system with storage, with memory, with CPU, with everything. This is a small, small operating system. And using the Ledger Live app, you can download it for Mac, for Windows, for Linux. You can actually control the Ledger device once you connect it with the USB cable to your computer. So I already downloaded the Ledger Live app and that's how it looks like. And if you go here on the left side to Manager, you can see all the information about your Ledger device. So you can see it's Ledger Nano S. The firmware is the recent firmware. You can update the Ledger, update the firmware. And in that case, I'm using Nano S, but the same thing applies to Nano X. It's just the newer device with more storage, with Bluetooth support, but Nano S is good enough. Nano S is good enough for our purposes. Now we need to go to App Catalog and search for Terra. We have to install the Terra application inside the ledger itself and here the re we have the Terra and we click install and now it's installing you're supposed to see here on the ledger one moment that you will see it it actually now installs and you will see here loading please wait right now it's installing the Terra app into the ledger device it will take a while and once it's finished the next thing we will have to do is to close the Ledger Live app because now the Ledger Live app is binded to the Ledger and we want to close it so it will be free so we can bind it to our Google Chrome browser. Now we are on the Google Chrome browser and we're going to download Terra Station extension. We are basically downloading now the Terra Station wallet to our Google Chrome, the Terra Station extension. And I will just go Terra, Terra wallet. Chrome and we go to Chrome Web Store. I'll put a link in the description below to the direct page of the extension so you will not get scammed or by mistake download another one. Make sure that the, there are a lot of users, the, the reviews are high so you know it's the right extension and not some kind of scam extension that, that is planning to steal your tokens. I will click here add to Chrome, install the extension. It will take a while until the extension will be installed and once done, we're, you're supposed to see this kind of icon here on the top. I'm assuming that you're already familiar with it because you're using Terra and you're just now searching of how to use it with, with Ledger. And here you have now, you have the Terra station installed and you need to click here, access with Ledger. But before you do it, make sure that you open the Terra station app. So you can navigate here through all the apps until you find Terra, the new installed app with Ledger Live and click this kind of two buttons now the app is open and Terra is ready, you see. Now I click here access with Ledger and it will ask me to select the wallet and here is my default wallet. I already set it up and I had some USD inside. I prepared in invest so I can show you some example. And now congratulations guys, your Ledger device is connected to the Terra Station wallet. Now the private key is not stored in your computer in an insecure way, but in this kind of hardware wallet, encrypted in the memory device, locked by your pin code that you supplied. And now the way you work with DeFi and your funds are much safer than before. Now you can use any ecosystems that you want using this kind of hardware wallet. You can use Encore protocol, you can use Miro, but let's just go to Terra Station, Terra Station wallet. And you can see, I click here, connect, and 
access with ledger and now you can see that actually my wallet is connected of course the the wallet address will be censored and actually now you can send but you will have to confirm the transaction to the ledger you can deposit usd send withdraw do whatever you want let's just go to swap just look at a simple example let's scroll down a bit until we swap our usd to let's say luna so i'm going to swap one usd to luna token and this is just a simple trade simple call for a smart contract I'll click here next and you can see i pay a small amount of fee but this is for you so i can show you the example confirm with ledger and once you click confirm with ledger you should see some kind of things like this chain id columbus this is the blockchain and you go all the way to the left all the way one moment we go all the way to the left and until you find it shows you all the preview of the transaction all the types everything until you find here approve and reject so you want to make sure that you are on approve and once you are on approve you click this kind of two buttons and you can see right after that you click these two buttons the transaction has been sent to the blockchain so it's very important to understand that the private key is not sitting inside the browser is not touching the computer but actually here inside this device so you sign the transaction through the ledger and then through the usb device the transaction is getting to the computer memory once it's already signed so your private key never touches the computer and that's how you make your funds and your DeFi day-to-day -day life more and more secure of course, it will be more annoying because you need a ledger device anytime to send transactions. But this is if you have significant amount of crypto, you want to use this can ledger and also consider using my link in the description below. If you want to support me, I will get a small commission from your purchase. And that's it. All right. So this is how you can use Terra Station with Ledger in a secure way. I hope this guide was helpful for you. Please consider subscribing and smashing the like button. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below and I will answer to any questions that you have. Once again, thank you so much for watching my videos and learning with me about DeFi and blockchains. And I will see you in the next guide. Bye bye.